Prime Minister Narendra Modi today inaugurated Asia's largest helicopter factory in Karnataka's Tumkuru. It is a dedicated new greenfield helicopter factory which will enhance India's capacity and ecosystem to build helicopters, India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh tweeted. According to a statement, the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL factory will initially produce the Light Utility Helicopters or LUH. Central Board of Direct Taxes CBDT Chairperson Nitin Gupta said 13 crore people are yet to link their permanent account numbers, PAN cards, PAN numbers with Aadhaar. Those who fail to link the two databases by March 31st won't get benefits while undertaking various business and tax-related activities, he added. Permanent account numbers that aren't attached to Aadhaar by March 31st will be rendered inoperative, he said. The five judges whose appointment to the Supreme Court was cleared by the centre last week were administered the oath of office by Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud, today. Justices Pankaj Mittal, Sanjay Karol, P.V. Sanjay Kumar, Asanuddin Amanullah and Manoj Mishra took oaths at the ceremony. Their elevation was recommended by the Collegium in December 2022. Congress staged a protest outside a branch of the State Bank of India in Hyderabad over the Adani Group issue. The party also protested outside SBI office in Mumbai and outside an office of Life Insurance Corporation in Chennai. Life Insurance Corporation and State Bank of India have invested in Adani Group, which has been accused of fraud and stock manipulation. A naval version of light combat aircraft LCA Tejas landed successfully on INS Vikrant for the first time today. The Indian Navy said in a statement that it demonstrated India's capability to design, develop, construct and operate indigenous aircraft carriers with indigenous fighters as well. The death toll due to 7.8 magnitude earthquake that hit Turkey and Syria this morning has risen to more than 1,300. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has said that 912 people have been killed and 5,383 have been wounded due to the earthquake in Turkey alone. The epicenter of the earthquake was near the city of Gaziantep in southeastern Turkey. Indian music composer Ricky Kedge won the Grammy Award today for his album Divine Tides. His album was nominated in the Best Immersive Audio Album category and he shared the award with Stewart Copeland, the drummer of the iconic British rock band The Police. This is Ricky Cage's third Grammy Award win. <laughs>